Nick Pope studies these things, joins us from Tucson, Arizona. Nick, have we ever gotten to the point where there is hard evidence that there is something visiting our planet from another planet? No, we're not quite there yet. But what we have seen over the last three or four years is this subject coming out of the fringe and into the mainstream. We've seen multiple videos, US Navy videos of jets chasing these things, tracked on radar. We've had some of the pilots and the intelligence people talking about them. And now we learn that this is an ongoing situation and it's not just UFOs. There's, frankly, they've been looking at other things which sound like they come straight out of an X-Files script. Yes, when you hear pilots describe what some of these things can do, the Tic Tacs and, and the like, confirmed UFO sighting, Southern California coast, 2004, 2019, 2019 by three or four different ships, uh, Eastern seaboard near the United States, 2014, 2015. I have no idea what that map is, but we do have a graphic of where are they um, and what are they. Confirmed UFO sightings, there we go. Uh, off the coast of Virginia, 2014 by the FA-18s and the like. What is the chance that these are nothing more than the next evolution of stealth fighters or the next evolution of things that are being tested at Area 51? And of course, the government's going to say we have no idea what they are because they don't want our enemies to know about it. That's certainly possible. I mean, one theory is that this is next generation aerospace tech, secret prototype aircraft and drones. Some people say it might be U.S tech secretly tested on one part of the military by another to see how we we react and of course there's another theory that this is adversary technology from from russia or china for example but you know the extraterrestrial hypothesis is out there too and all of this is why congress is now taking very close um, note of this, the Senate Intelligence Committee in particular, but the Armed Services Committees in, in both the Senate and the House are looking at this. There were multiple UFO provisions in the, uh, the, the latest defense bill. So people are taking this seriously. You, you, you worked on this for the government of the United Kingdom, you were in the Ministry of Defense researching UFOs and if there was extraterrestrial life and the like. What do you think has changed now that it went from sort of the fringe people who wore tinfoil on their hats and stood outside Area 51 to now this? Well, I think there has been a realization that this is a serious defense and national security issue. And I think mm -hmm. part of that has come from within Congress. People like Marco Rubio, for example, have spoken out quite strongly on this. But the other thing is we've just got a lot more evidence than was previously the case. We always knew pilots see, saw these things, but it's the DOD themselves that have recently put some of mm. this on their website. And what we've seen recently is the Defense Intelligence Agency also doing massive document dumps, releasing you know, literally thousands of pages on this, and there's more to come. Short of a couple of little green men landing on the South Lawn or the North Lawn of the White House and saying hi to the press corps there, or landing at the, ne the next Super Bowl and, and dropping in, what is, the, what is the bridge between these videos and we know that whatever this thing is, it is not human? Well, I think part of the answer will be satellite technology, but of course the problem with that is that all that information is going to be highly classified. The other thing is, of course, science. Uh, we've had the recent launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, and if there's something in our little corner of the galaxy that's not us, well, maybe that will be the instrument that finds it. And, and right now you would put the percentage chance that in the next year to 18 months, we have that link is what? I don't know, but much stronger than it ever was. Mm. I mean, we're closer than we've ever been, I think. If, if they're out there, we're closing in on them. And, and it will be the biggest <laughs> discovery in human history, for sure. You said we're closing in on them. We just hope we're closing in on them faster than they're closing in <laughs> on us. <laughs> Nick Pope, a fantastic analysis. We really appreciate it. And, uh, uh, you know, if people say hello to us, we'll be giving you another call. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. We appreciate it. All right. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.